Okay, we are on lesson 26, bubble 13. They want us to create the alien guy falling. So let's do it. First we have to create the sprite. So basically we're doing this right here. So I will create sprite and we'll call it player. And right now it's at 200, 200, so that'd be right in the center. But we want it probably up here, right? Because he's falling down. So let's go like Y of 5. X, Y, 5. And then set animation, player, alien. Okay, so here we have our player hovering, floating in the air. And now we need to create the function of him falling. Player fall. So, let's get our function. Player fall, and then the velocity of y, right, because he's up and down. Player, velocity, and then we want him to be falling. Alright, there's our function. Here's our draw. So we're going to call it player ball. Alright, now he should be falling. And he is. Done deal. Okay. Now control player function. We know how to do that. Right. Function. And it was called control player. And then our ifs. If. Key down. Oh, up. Actually up. If key down is up, then we want the velocity to go up, right? Because this is down, this is up. So when it goes up, that's negative, right? Because this is 400, this is zero, so going up is actually negative. So if the key goes up, we want player velocity and the y to go Minus three. All right, let's drop that function in our draw function. What do we call it again? Control player. Alright, 
working, so that's good. All right, now we need left and right. Oh, you know what? We don't want key went down. We want key down. Yeah, we want key down. Left. And then... Player X. Velocity. Right, because we're going left to right this time. Player velocity equals whatever the speed is current. Oh. And it's going left, so it's going to be going minus, right? Because that's 400, that's zero. So minus. Get rid of that. Okay, velocity x. Okay, let's go minus 3. Reset. And run. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. Oh, because it's I'm playing player x and not player velocity x. That was the problem. Let's try that again. There we go. All right. Now we'll do the same thing with the right. If key down right, actually, I'm just going to copy this code right here and then uh, just change that to plus. Change that to plus. Not equals. Man, I am blowing it today. Okay, here we go. So we got up, left, right, reset, run it. Whoa. You know what? I'm going to change this. Instead of. No, I'll just keep it. It's fine. All right. Control player is good. No deal. Okay. Player interactions. Create player lens function to add to the functions area of your code. Inside the function, use collide block so that player can land on both platforms. Call the function inside the draw loop. Run code to test your function. All right, player lens function. Use collide. So, function. Okay. 
in its player lands. And then collide. Player collides with platform. And then another player collide. Platform two. And then we'll add this function into our draw. Player lands. Player land. Player lands. Oh, capital L. <sighs> Player lands. There we go. Okay, run. I think we're going to have to change this to just minus three. Oh, plus three, sorry, plus three. Or just three. Duh. Yeah, see, that's better. Okay. All right. Player land, all good.